All right, folks. Hey, 1881MF. Here we are on the Life Buzzing Channel. This is kind of part two of the video. We made a video earlier for green sand so we can cast some aluminum. So I've started up my charcoal and we are going to get this baby hot enough to melt aluminum. So anyway, stand back, babe. Oh. I want you to burn. I like the heat. This is uh, my grill turned into forge. Basically, add this blow dryer. <gasps> Get that sucker cooking. As it all goes in the pool. It won't. And then I'm going to put my camel here on top, get it good and hot. And we're going to melt a couple of these uh, hard drive cases right here and do our first aluminum casting with some of these guys. So, And this is an old cast iron. An old cast iron kettle that I used to use for camping that just kept rusting on me, so it works perfect for melting aluminum. So we'll heat that up. Stay tuned. Hey folks, 1881 MF. We're on the Life Buzzing Channel. It's CoStar right here. Hey buddy. We're going to uh, today cast with the green sand that we made on one of my previous videos. Check that out if you want to know how to make green sand. Uh, this shell right here we found at Edisto uh, just a couple months ago when we were there. So I'm going to try to see if I can't cast that right there. Debbie wants me to make her a you know, necklace or something. I don't know. I don't even know if this is going to work, but Ooh, we're going to try it. Pretty. Okay, so here's the green sand that we made. You're supposed to let it store overnight, let that clay start getting uh, absorbing the water, but as far as you know, it has been. This right here is a little frame that I made a long time ago it's a file for files and stuff and I think this might do the job I don't know but somebody is going to know exactly how to do this he's watching isn't he <laughs> so I'm going to put some green sand in here So, anyways, after you get it packed down, we'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, so I've packed this all down, and before everyone rags me on a bunch of comments, no, this is not the correct way. If I was going to do it the correct way, I would have put the shell down on the plywood and then built the sand up all the way around it and packed it up. But Why don't you do it like that? Because we're going for just a couple impressions here. Ugh, let me get some leverage here. So we're going to take the shell, and we're just going to shove it down in here. Gently, there's our impression. We'll see if this works. There's another one. Oh, cool. That one's better. Maybe. Hmm. I gotta pull them out straight out. Let's do four. Okay, now we'll see if our uh, nice. See if our aluminum's ready. All right, so this is getting hot, it's starting to melt. Put a hard drive in there. As soon as this guy melts off, we're going to do a test pour. Okay, it's on fire. Step back, Debbie. Don't leave that. This has only been going for about 10 minutes and it's heated up enough to melt a bunch of aluminum, so we'll let this get up down in here. There it goes. There's our molten aluminum. Okay. So I'm gonna do the pour. Safety first, people. This is hot. 
you'll be able to see me over here. Here we go. Okay. In the hole. Hot molten. Bore number one. Oh wow. Too big. <laughs> Too much. Just, Just a touch. Much. Oh wow. Just a touch. Ha. Fun. We'll let it harden and see what happens. All right, so it's been cooling just for about five minutes. These are still going to be hot, but I'm, I'm real curious. So which one do you want to punch out first, this one? Do the less of this the one? stuff, it'll be cooler. So here we go. <gasps> Stop the madness. Look at that. I'm going to do this one next. Mm. That's amazing. Oh. Still my gloves burning? It's my gloves oh burning. Oh dear. They're still real hot. That wood's probably burning oh, too. Oh no. Ooh. Look at well, that. There you go folks. I don't know. Seashells in the sand. You know what? We could put a magnet on them. Stick Those them are the fridge. awesome. I think I could, like on here, I can put on the bandsaw and cut that whole back part of that off. And then just have the top. Ooh. That sand's hot. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Wow. Um, so with this green sand, you can reuse it. You just have to take this burnt stuff off, but really, unless it's crystallized, I might break that piece out of there, but Very I might break these little molds out of here because they're probably no good anymore. Very interesting. But you can reuse that sand over and over and over. So there you go, folks. Imagine if I actually took my time and did it right. I mean, look how fun that is, huh? What should we do with them? I'm wide open for suggestions. I think we've lost CoStar. He's over it now that it's done, but he's with us. There you go, folks. 1881MF, checking out of the Life Buzzing channel. I do appreciate you. Give me a thumbs up if I haven't said that yet, because I like those. Take care.